What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Season Night, and back with another story for you guys. So, y'all already know where this story takes place at. I don't even need to say. So, I told y'all I could go for days and days and days about all the encounters that I had here. So, I mean, make sure you stick around so you can hear what happened in this story. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in a minute. Bye. y'all so i'ma just get straight into the story so y'all already know y'all i was at work minding my business like i always do sitting at my desk doing you know what needs to be done and this janitor comes on the unit so for the purpose of this story i'm gonna call i'm gonna call him c's and i'm gonna tell y'all why i'm gonna call him c's later on but just remember that his name is c's so, y'all, I'm working or whatever. So, C's is the new janitor on the unit. So, you know, they walking around like, yeah, this the front nurse's station. We got a middle nurse's station. It's a back nurse's station and all this stuff. So, they giving C's the rundown or whatever, right? So, I don't pay no mind because I'm like, I don't have nothing to do with his brooms and his mops and all of his things. Let him do his thing. I'm doing me. I'm minding my business, right? So, I'm sitting at my desk writing something. So C's come through with the little, like the, uh, y'all know the real big, um, janitor Swiffers. It's not the regular size Swiffer. It's like the real big one to where everybody got to move, get out their way, get out their way. So he come with the big Swiffer busting my feet. So I'm like, are you going to excuse yourself? Cause I can get up. I said, do you need me to get up? Cause I don't mind getting up, but don't sweep my feet. Y'all know, don't sweep my feet. Don't do that. So he like, oh, uh, yeah. So I was like, okay, like next time you can just say, hey, you know, can I mop back here, sweep back here, swiffle back here, and I'll just get up. But don't do that no more, right? So he like, oh, my bad, whatever. So I'm like, okay. So y'all know from how I be analyzing people. So I'm like, okay. Clearly this, he don't got much sense because if somebody's sitting right there, why wouldn't you just excuse yourself? Like, why would you sweep my feet? You just wanted some attention. But okay, so now... You on my ignore list. You on my do not disturb list. Okay. So y'all go here about my business. And you know, C's is just all over the place. I mean, he blah, 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 back for back for back for. So I'm like, is C's on something? Because I'm like, I mean, you know, people work. But you know, like, the, he was like an energizer bunny. He was like, he was over here, over here, over here. He was up in the ceiling, like dust in the ceiling. And I'm like, I mean, granted. You know, things could use a thorough cleaning. But I was just like, I mean, he was like swinging off the light post. He was like jumping on stuff, cleaning to me. Yeah, I got to get this clean. So I was like, I said, it's something up with C's. I said, I said, mind your business, just stay clear C's, right? So granted, he was a good, like, cleaner on the floor. So I was like, okay. Man, him had a rough first encounter from him sweeping my damn feet. But I was like, okay, we got these little kudos cards. So I said, let me write him a kudos card because I ain't never seen nobody clean like how I seen C's cleaning. I mean, C's was on the floor with a toothbrush. He was up in the ceiling. I mean, he was back and forth. Like, so I was like, damn, C's, you're doing the damn thing. So I said, let me write C's a kudos card. Right? So y'all write him a little kudos card like, you know... This is, you know, the best cleaning that I've ever seen. And, you know, y'all should give him, you know, a Doritos or a Tama, whatever they do in his department, right? So, these little kudos things, let me tell y'all. When you get a certain amount, they send them the human resources and then it, like, puts you in his bank to get, like, an extra vacation day or something like that. So, like, why not do that for somebody, right? So, I did that for C's. So, you know, time go on and people was like... Is he okay? I was like, look, child, I don't know. I stay out of people's business. I don't know. All I know is the boy clean good, and that's all that's my business, okay? All right, y'all, so time go on or whatever, and I just kind of don't pay C's no mind. But he started going around, like, passing out business cards and all that stuff, saying he got his own business. So, of course, I take one. I'm not being rude. I just take one. I say, okay, you know, thank you, right? 
So he was just like, you know, making small talk and we talking and all this stuff. And he was telling me about, you know, um, his kids and all this stuff. So I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. But in my mind, oh, yo, I forgot to tell y'all what C's look like. So I was like, I was like, I was surprised. I was like, oh, you got kids? So C's was, he was a very uh, small frame guy. Um, but... I just didn't see him having kids. Like, that's, I don't know. Hey, somebody for everybody. I just didn't see that. I just didn't see that for him, right? So, I was just like, okay. So, time progressed. And on this particular day, he was in the room cleaning. And I was like, damn. I said, you got this room spotless. I was like, you really do a good job, right? So, he come out the room. So, he, like, talking to me. He like, yeah, I'm waiting for my girlfriend to bring me something to eat so it didn't dawn on me i'm like oh, okay i'm like that's nice so i go around the unit doing some other stuff that i need to do and when i come back i see this other young lady that works on another unit in the hospital now just based off of like that encounter i thought that it was his sister so she bought sees his lunch i think it was from like 7-eleven or something but anyway, she give him the bag or whatever, and he was like, God damn, you can't do nothing right, man. He like, I ain't tell you to get this, I ain't tell you. So I'm looking like, and she's standing there like looking all stupid because mind you, everybody is at the unit and you know, the front nursing station is the most popular nursing station. So that's where everybody was standing there. So I know she felt embarrassed because she was a nurse on another unit. So I'm like, I'm like, you will have talk to you like this girl. So she just like took the bag and was like, I'm sorry. Now the thing that had me caught up with this is this nurse, she got a real nasty attitude. So I was surprised that she let him get buck on her like that because anytime you have an encounter with her or you take somebody to her unit or you like, hey, how you doing? She got the screw face like you, you know, like you getting on her nerves or something. So that took me back that, you know, she let him walk her out like that. So I was just looking like, not you. Not you, screw face. So after he did that, I was a little surprised. Because I'm like, usually C's is just, you know, kind of running around. He don't really, like, come off like that. But that was the first, that instant I seen uh, the little attitude that he had. And then me and him got into it. So I was like, oh, I was like, um. And oh, and this girl, she's like a, actually, she's like a really pretty girl. But she just got, like, a nasty attitude. Which make her ugly. So, I was just like, oh, I was like, that's your sister that brought you lunch? He was like, no, that's my baby mother. That's your what? I'm like, that's your, that's your baby mother? I was like, oh, wow. So, y'all, like, I was like, I could have, like, fell in the floor at this point. Because I'm like, screw face is your baby mother sees. Like, this girl, she was actually really pretty, and C's was given, I am Caesar. And y'all already know what movie that's from. Like, he was a real small frame guy with, like, I don't know if he had full body eczema, but he was real flaky looking. So, I was just like, I, I couldn't believe it. I was in total. So, I was like, oh, I was like, why you yelling her like that? I was like, Sis was trying to make sure you ate and you acting all crazy. I was like, see, you're better than me. I was like, because I would have took your lunch and it would have been the trash can. You would have just been hungry. And he was like, no, she ain't like that. She ain't, ain't going to do that to me. She ain't going to do that to me. No, she know better. And I'm like, I, yo, I'm just like flabbergasted because when I tell you this girl be like wilding people out like super nasty somewhere like when you see her, you be like, oh, sis, I don't even want to deal with you today because I already know you can already come with something. So, that, like, definitely, definitely took me off guard, right? But either way, I still never really said nothing to C's other than, you know, the typical, you know, little small talk. We really not, we ain't had no business to conduct, right? So, one day, y'all, I finally get to go to lunch that day. It was kind of busy. So, when I went into the lunchroom, it was pretty late in the day when I went to lunch, actually. So, when I went in there, it was three of our mercies in there. So, it was... Sean, Hector, 
and Jeremiah, right? So we are in there and you know, we talking and this and that. So C's comes in. All three of us are like already having a conversation. So I put my food in the microwave and I'm waiting for the warm up. So I sit back down. Now my coworker Hector is a pain in the ass. Hector gets on my goddamn nerves. Like I don't know no other way to say he is a pain. When you see him coming, when you know he work, it's like walk the other way. He's just coming to mess with you. He real cool, but he just get on my damn nerves. So as soon as he see you, if he see you coming, he's like, hey girl, I've been waiting. You be like, Hector, don't don't come over here. Good morning, Hector. But go ahead about your business, please. Thank you. Right? So we're sitting in the lunchroom or whatever. We just talking and everybody joking Hector. So Jeremiah was eating his lunch, but he came right in, got his lunch out of the refrigerator and just sat down and started eating it. Now he was eating like meatballs and spaghetti squash. So I was like, you're not going to eat your food up? And he was like, no. I was like, y'all are so gross. I was like, all three of y'all are eating hot meals cold. So they was like, well, y'all, you know, we guys, we don't really put our food in the microwave. And yo, Drew do this too. I hate, oh my goodness. Do not eat my food cold. Because I'm going to go off. But yeah, they said they eat. So we start having a debate about why they eating cold food or whatever. And they like, you know, well, I'm a guy. I don't really care if the food cold or whatever, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, look, I'm like, please warm it up. So Jeremiah was like, he was like, dang, he was like, you get on my nerves. He was like, so when you take your food out, he was like, put my food in the microwave. He was like, so I can satisfy you. And I was like, thank you, right? So Hector started talking. So Hector like, see, you bossy. I know your boyfriend, blah, 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 blah. All this stuff. So I told him, I said, Hector, shut up. So, me and Hector gets into, like, a little pro. But me and Hector fuss all the time. So, we just be playing. But, mind you, C's is still in the room. So, me and Hector going back and forth. The other two guys in there, they sitting there laughing. They like, y'all crazy, y'all. Because me and Hector do this all the time. Like, I be just telling him, leave me alone, right? So, I don't remember what I said to Hector. But we pissed C's off. C's was over there taking out the trash. Whatever I said to Hector, C's grabbed that trash bag. He snubbed it down. He was like, you know what? Who are he talking to? I was trying to figure out who he was talking to. Like, he must have thought that I was screwed for a minute. So I was like, who are you talking to? He was like, I'm talking to you because I'm sick of you. Every time uh, Hector say something to you, you always got something back to say back to him. Bitch, who the fuck is Hector? That ain't my damn man. And, you know, number two, mind your business, I ain't talking to you. So, Hector was like, he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was like, man, he was like, calm down. He was like, that's just how I meant how I play. He was like, we playing. He was like, it ain't no need for you to get all worked up or whatever. So, he was like, I mean, he was mad. So, when Hector told him, was like, yo, calm down. Like, it ain't even all that. It ain't giving all that. He got his stuff and he walked out. So, the guys was looking like, they was like, oh, wow. They was like, y'all had some type of encounter before? I was like, no. So they was like, okay, like that's a little weird. So they was in the lunch room before me. So they finished eating and they got out. So I stayed in there, I was on my phone, finished eating my lunch, whatever. So once the guys left out, C's come back in there. So at this point, you yelling and carrying on and doing all that, you back on do not disturb. Now I don't see you, I don't see you, I don't hear you. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Blockers is on. I don't care, right? So he like, um, yeah, so I ain't listen. I don't even know what he was talking about because I wasn't listening to him. At that point, I wasn't listening to him. He was talking. He was saying something. So 
I don't want to pay him no money. I'm in my phone, like, whatever. So he come up to the table. He was like, you don't hear me talking to you? Yo, start yelling at me, going on, blah, 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 blah. I said, yo, I don't know who you think you talking to. I said, but don't let none of this professional shit, like, fool you. Don't play with me. Like, I don't even play with you like that. I don't know you like that. You don't know me like that. And for real, for real, don't, yeah, don't take me there. So he was like, I'm just saying the truth. I said, you don't for real had to say nothing to me from this day forward. And that's straight up. So he get his little stuff. He moves out. So was Kimmy, I don't know if Kimmy was there, but either her or BK was there. So I was like, yo, why does the little uh, janitor boy just try to wild me out for me and have to play fussing or whatever? So they was like, what? I was like, exactly. I said, wasn't even talking to him. He was taking up the trash. That's what happened when you be ear hustling. I'm like, he's sitting here ear hustling on our conversation. They're going to try yell, screaming at me, and then going to try, like, come back after the guys left out. After they told him, like, I guess he I guess he thought he was catching me lacking. But, y'all, I wake up ready every day, so it don't even matter, right? So, I told him, I was like, yo, for real, go ahead about your business. Because it ain't nothing but a phone call away. Leave me alone. So after this, I ignore him. So day after day after day, he keeps doing things to, I guess, try to get my attention, right? So he comes back with the mop, with the broom, with the trash bag. He comes with the trash can next to me, blowing the bag. You know how uh, when you open the bag and you go... Pfft, and then make the, he doing that all that with my ears. So I would just get up and move. He come with the, with the dust mop and the dust buster hitting my chair. I get up and move. All right. I just wait till you finish cleaning the front. Then I come back the way I'm at. Or I would just go somewhere else. So he would start doing stuff like, um, he'd be like, yeah. So, all right, say I'm sitting right here and the trash can is over here and the rest of the nursing station is down here. So, it's room between where I'm sitting at. Of course, it's room behind me. The nurse station is pretty big. You can just walk behind the chair and go where you're going, right? So, he'll tell someone, he'll be like, um, yeah, because I want to take that trash out over there, but, um, but I don't know if she, um, she in the way. Like, while I'm sitting right there. So, I'm like, okay, clearly, he want me to say something to him. I'm not saying nothing to you. Clearly, it's bothering you way, way more me ignoring you. Then it is. I say, you're not about to get no reaction out of me, right? So he would keep saying little stuff like that, like, um, yeah, I'm trying to get behind the desk, uh, so do this. Yeah, I want to sweep behind the desk, but she's sitting right So, y'all, this kept going on and on and on with him, like, making little snob remarks, acting like I'm obstructing him from pulling his garbage. Like, boy, So, y'all, this ends up, of course, getting back to the manager, Cause he's acting like I'm obstructing the pulling of the garbage, which I'm like, it's a hundred trash cans up here. You want to stay up here this month for 10 minutes. Cause you want me to say something to you, but I'm not saying nothing to you. You know, get your garbage can and get out my face. That simple. I ain't nowhere near the garbage can. It ain't under my desk. It ain't at my desk. Like leave me alone. He just wanted me to say something to him. So he would keep, 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 keep doing stuff. Right. So the management comes, she's like, hey, can I talk to you? I'm like, about what? She's like, so, Steve's is saying that, I was like, let me stop you, let me stop. Then I said, no, 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 I'm not going to stop you. What does he say? I don't want to hear, what, what does he say? She's like, he said every time he tries to, you know, come and pull the garbage that he's unable to do so because you're up there. So I saw, I said, okay. I said, can you walk with me? Walk with me, right? I said, I sit right here, right? She was like, yeah. I said, can you walk? I was like, can you, you mind walking right here? So she walked by. I said, can you come back? So she walked back. I said, did you have any trouble? getting through she was like no i said so okay so how am i making it hard for him to pull the trash i said no what happened was 
He's upset because Hector and I were having an exchange in which we were not talking to him, in which he put himself in it, to which he started yelling and screaming at me, to which my response to him was that I am not engaging in this with you. However, I won't say anything to you from this day forward. And that's how we'll move along. So I'm not stopping him from doing anything. So as far as whatever he told you, it really don't matter. Because people like to, you know, say what, you know, other people do, but they don't like to say what they did to prompt that, right? So I'm like, okay. So I said, okay, now I see, you know, what he up to. So then he starts going to other people, yo, same stuff homeboy was on. So going to other people like, yeah, I don't know why she don't like me. I ain't do nothing to her. And like I tell them, don't tell me nothing nobody said, because I could care less, okay? Don't tell me nothing nobody said about me, to me. I don't, I could care less, right? So, yo, we sitting at the nurse's station. We having a conversation. So, his little shift had ended. So, one of the nurses, she was like, I think that, you know, C's likes you. And I was like, oh, I don't know why he think that, because, no. So, my other homegirl, she was like, no. She was like, what it is is, you kind of favor his baby mother and he probably ain't expecting, you know, you to pop back off how you did. And I said, listen, listen, Linda, I don't be talking, I don't be talking to this boy. I don't be interacting with this boy. Like, I just come here to do my job and people like messing with me all the time. I don't know if I look like an easy, like an easy target or like, or what, but like, I be trying to tell people like, you know, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So that's what I be trying to tell people. Like, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. If you leave me alone, you're going to be good. If you mess with me, you're going to regret the day that you did so. Okay? So today's lesson in this story time is actually mind your own business. Like, that's it. Mind your own business. This ain't had nothing to do with him. He ain't meant half the business. You know, like, pull your trash. Put it in your little dilly dally and go ahead about your business, sees. You are dismissed.